Tinubu versus Atiku. Okay, the the words are still on. Initially, Tinubu uh, lied that he did not meet with G5, but later, Wiki has brought understanding in those regards that indeed they met with Tinubu in London, and they said they put out some demands, and uh, this is what the demands have come. You know, this was what uh, our brother had to do with the demands and everything you know, that is being regarded in this area. You know, they put out some demands, but see what uh, our brother, uh, Shiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu, uh, did with the demands and the promises that were made, and then what Atiku has got to say. Every single one of us must become very, very conversant of what is going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Atiku versus Wiki. Tinubu did meet with the G5 in London, but this was what he did with our demands as we, we placed them before him, before he could get our support. The spokesperson of the Atiku Abubakar Presidential Campaign Council, Daniel Bawale, has insisted that the G5 of the People's Democratic Party did meet with the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate Bola Ahmed in London. News Nigeria reports that Bola Ahmed Tinubu has denied holding a meeting with his governors, Yesomwike Ikweazu, Okezi, Ifai, Venogu, Sheyi Makinde, Oyo, and Samuel Utom of Benue ahead of the presidential election. But speaking during an Arise TV morning program, Paoli revealed that Tinubu met with the five aggrieved PDP governors but turned down their demands, the demands of the governors. Asked about the meeting, Pawali said, they met here in Kessentin in London, but the meeting deadlock did not make the announcement come forth. One of the reasons that the meeting in London did not pull through is their alleged demand. The demand that the G5 came with could not be accommodated given the fact that the demands that they thought they were capable of doing had not happened after five months atiku is still considered as leading now we have made concrete efforts to reconcile and the doors are still open there is no part of the structure of this party that has not engaged with wiki and his group in a bid to reconcile, one of their demands is that I will to resign and we have gone through his part. Why we think it is it can't happen? Nobody asked him to resign unless he chooses to resign. He was elected by the party and there are constitutional provisions and guidelines that leads to his emergence as the national chairman. Nobody appointed him. The party voted. The movement has not demanded us to do anything worthwhile it has not reduced our fellowship in fact they have expanded beyond the number of our nucleus and our campaign and we are working at it and we'll get to the end of it and the more time went by people came to realize that the campaign is not about equality justice and fairness but about interest aggression and fact findings so this is what is happening. He said, even if you have an interest, you can sit in a political party and negotiate. But to stop article by all means, target and agenda is not working. The G5 know better now. So this is what is happening. And uh, we just all have to begin to uh, work at it and ensure that at the end of the day, there is, okay, you go, there is, a, you know, a matters to be, to be, there is understanding to be brought in all of this okay so it, it is what it is and every single one of us must understand that uh whether we like it or not okay uh tinubu atiku g5 and what have you you know they are all you know they are all in synergy uh tinubu lied that he did not uh, meet the g5 but that was not very correct he did met with the g5 he did he met with the g5 
you know, and um, why they've not made that announcement is because the demands that were put to Tinobu, um, he could not meet up with them. Uh, some of some of such demands is that they will not move from their party. Tinobu would have wanted them to join APC formally, but they said they are not. You know, you know they cannot join. You know they are not joining. Uh, you know APC that they will stay in their party. They will still be governors. They will. You know. So there's a lot involved. If you ask me, there's a lot involved, and so the G5 are standing on their position and are saying we're not moving. Now, with regards to IO, IO. Uh, that's that's one of their biggest uh, push that Ayo must resign, you know that Ayo must resign. However, uh, Ayo is still there, so there is all kinds of uh, you know clumsiness in terms of getting the right, you know who, who who I mean what they really want to see, because if they really are honest about everything, they should go back to the drawing board and look at possibility of what can be done differently and how they could truly you know, bring this nation, you know, together, if that's their drive and that's what they want to see. However, it feels more selfish, okay? It feels more selfish. On one part, one does not want to burge. On the other part, the other one says, uh, you, you, want to, you want to show that you are somebody I will not oblige. So there is pride. There is uh, all kinds of words that you could, um, you could tally or rally with, um, you know, the decisions being made uh, about uh, G5, about Atiku, about uh, Tinubu. I mean, people are hiding to say that they did not meet with people. It's all kinds of words going on. So it, it is what it is. And if we really, really want to get a change in all of this, every single one of us, okay, every single one of us must understand that there, you have a part to play. You have a part to play. You have a part to play. I have a part to play. Okay, so we just need to be. We just need to be honest. We need to be uh, sens sensitive. Uh, is a is a is a time that calls for great sensitivity. Okay, it's a time that calls for great sensitivity. Nobody should sit back there and just pretend that all is well, because as it stands right now, if we do not uh, get, uh, you know, get these things clear, we cannot truly move forward. Okay, the days upon us have become very glary that uh, if we want to make anything tangible and make a difference in all of this, we must begin to work at it. Yes, uh, remember, it is up to you and I to ensure that change is expedient. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button. God bless. Bye for now.